So why? Why Mandarin oranges? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's a no. That's okay, an argument. See, this, is, this is very unsettling because she wants to tell you yucks, but she can't do yeah, it. She can't do it. She can't do it. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Dumb Debates! This is a show where we answer terrific questions with terrible, terrible answers, alright? So if you guys don't really understand what the show is about, don't worry, we're gonna just explain it a bit. Right before the show, about an hour before this, we gave each one of them a sealed envelope. Everybody please show your sealed envelopes. In each sealed envelope is a terrible, terrible answer, which what they have to do is to actually convince me why their terrible answer is the best one there is. At the end of the show, I will decide who is the winner of Dumb Debates. My name is Siraj, but before we get to the question... Siraj. Like a mirage. <laughs> Chill actually, yeah, it's good. Siraj. Siraj. Chris Hemsworth once called him who? It's Chai Ho! Who? I'm Chris She's beautiful inside and outside the room. It's Annette! Oh! <laughs> let, 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 oh, let, I thought it was my turn. You're, you're the grand finale. Oh, oh, okay. oh sorry. If sorry. donuts didn't come with holes, Kenneth would be a happier man. It's Kenneth! Wow, that's deep. <laughs> pastries. I actually thought you were going to re refer to him as a pastry. Ah. I love you, Bobby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my name's Kenneth. Call her Alien, Lulu, Emily, Shirley, or even Crazy, but she's none other than the one and only Michelle Cho! That's my introduction. Yeah. I didn't even get like beautiful inside and outside and whatever. Is it inside, outside. But she's room. the one outside and only. only. Oh. There's yeah. someone beautiful you, but you, there's only one Michelle Cho. Okay, alright. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> you have See. to. <laughs> Today, we're going to actually debate a very sensitive topic to many Singaporeans. It's all going to be about food, but there's a twist to it, okay? So the question for today is, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay. Anyway, we had a coin toss earlier on. Yes. Um, Annette, you won the coin toss. So uh, why don't you start first? All right, so she starts. starts. I'm starting. Yes, yeah. Annette. Yes. So if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? So if I had to eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be... <laughs> Mandarin oranges. So right. why? Why Mandarin oranges? Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's an argument. No, that's okay, an argument. See, this, is, this is very unsettling because she wants to tell you yucks, but she can't do yeah, it. She can't do it. She can't do it. She can't do it. And I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Say it back to her now. Yeah, yeah. She said, okay, yeah. So you, the, I told you to, you have to pass the message. <laughs> yeah, if I have to eat one thing okay. for the rest of my life, okay. I want it to be healthy, right? Okay. Fruits. Can it get any healthier than It's fruits? very easy though. But it has so many nutrients. Okay. Like what? Um, vitamin C. And vitamin C. <laughs> Fibers. Unless you and eat the peel now. Guys, yeah. you, you guys want to have a conversation face to face. <laughs> <laughs> You're chasing this <laughs> channel. Fiber. Okay, apparently right, it also helps you helps with weight loss and um, really? with the skin also, you know, like helps to make oh. the skin glow. Sure Oranges. not. Oranges. Yes, I did my research, you know. You, you know what else helps your skin glow? Makeup. No, so in fact, you get spots because it's very heaty. Oh, she finally. Ah, she did. No, she did like, like, I, yeah, I can't stand it anymore. No, if you eat a lot of oranges, mango you oranges, especially during Chinese New Year, you get like a lot of spots. No, yeah. no, that's from like the pimple right here. That's from so. the Chinese New Year snacks. Do I trust the nutrient source website that I read? Is it Mayo Clinic? No, it's not. What, MD? I read internet. Wikipedia? Trust everything Wait, you read. That, that, that's a real clinic, right? Yeah, that's apart from all the mu nutrients, right? Uh -huh. okay. With all the mutants. <laughs> all the mutants. <laughs> ah. Other than the, all the nutrients, you know, what What food can get more versatile than the Mandarin orange? A lot. Okay. A lot. Like, I, like I mean, the Mandarin orange is so like There's so many things you can make from an orange. You can make orange juice. You know, you can you can um dry. I've never had mandarin like, orange juice it because has, it doesn't have enough juice. You probably need like thirty mandarin oranges to make like a glass. Still, still I, what? I mean, it's still you That's can whole still carton. make juice, what? And then after that, you can also like dry it. Have like dry oranges. You can even have the orange peel. Why orange. is this the best thing to have for the rest of your life, as compared to all the other options you're gonna yeah, give okay, you? Okay, so like I said, you see, I have so many nutrients from this, mm -hmm. and also I can make so many different dishes out of it, you know? Like? <laughs> like, you know, orange <laughs> peel on your oranges, and like orange juice. You mean like an orange? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> She's like, you, it helps, okay, basically. Helps with what? You have, <laughs> it helps to look different, like, because you can deconstruct it in different forms. Okay, so final point. So you know, if you're really going to be so emo and just eating the same thing for the rest of your life, right? Why not choose a fruit, I mean, a, a food, right, that has such bright, vibrant colour. Do you know that colour boosts your mood? Like, 
wearing like color boots. Why is that envelope to me? <laughs> eating eating colorful foods will also boost your mood, you know. Can I just say that your point is gonna suck when someone what the rest of us get foods that are all more colourful than yours. Okay, we'll see. Alright. Alright, Annette, thank wait. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's give it up, give it up, give it up. Start first. From Mandarin Oranges, now we have a Mandarin speaking person in orange. Michelle, what is your answer for today? Ooh. <laughs> NASA. NASA de Coco! Okay, let's see what you got. Firstly. <laughs> Does everyone here know what nata di coco is yeah, made of? Yeah, it's my favourite food. Thank you. What, what, is, what is it made of? I mean, this gives you a clue, right? Coco, right? Coco crunch. Coconut. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Coconut. And as we know, coconut is one of the most nutritious foods ever in this world. You've heard of this movie called Cast Away? Yeah. Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. It's an old movie, yeah? And the volleyball. Was <laughs> yes. stranded, you know, on this island, yep. passed away for like, what, months? And he survived on nothing but <laughs> coconut! Yeah, no choice, yeah. no yeah. choice yes, but it shows that how nutritious <laughs> it is. Okay. You know, if you really have to eat one thing for the rest of your life, wouldn't you want to prolong your life instead of getting sick and feverish and getting pimples <laughs> the whole time? Yeah, but this is So like this is made of coconut and, and not just that, it's made of fermented Coconut oh, water. Okay, I didn't know. Oh. Fermented coconut Fermented. water. We, hey, I'm millennial. I know like kombucha and all I, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. This has existed since what? I was little. So this was before ago, all your time. Yeah. Nata di coconut. <laughs> no, that's not good. Very, around, yeah. around the time of castaway. That's a long way. It's healthy, you know, with all your kombucha and whatever, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, 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 and stuff, okay, so it's good bacteria. One of the hallmarks of, um, of nata di coco is that it has a lot of fiber, that's why they give it to the kids. Okay. So, it's good for digestion and, you know, it's easy for you to, to go to, you know, to do your bowels every day. To do my bowels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like even if you're so, making so, stuff up, you're so confident about no, it, you're okay. kind of... You know, our lives are so stressful, we need to eat like... White pure foods white, to calm pure. ourselves down. White, white, pure. At it's the not end white. of the day. Off white. It's off white. It, it's like, it's just white. Like it's a dull. nice. It's between opaque it's like and transparent. It's no, a bit it's translucent. Like it. It's special. It's unique. If you can only eat one thing every day for the rest of your life, wouldn't you want to eat something that has interesting texture? This is like chewy <laughs> and it makes it a bit more interesting. I mean, if you can only eat one thing, you know. Every if you eat it every day, it's not going to be interesting anymore. Yeah. Well, well, yours is just like choo choo swallow, choo choo swallow. Oh, oh, yours is only choo choo swallow. Oh, 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 wait, so wait till I see yours. Okay, no, maybe, oh, it's like, oh, it's maybe it's like liquid or it's just like drinking it. This It's good for everybody. Yeah, what so I have so many like points. I have so many points in there. Did you get all of them down? I, got most I don't of really it. have to summarize anymore, right? Mostly, it's basically it's nutritious, cast away. Cast away. <laughs> fermented coconut, good for kids, and it's white and pure. No, Pretty and um, and chewy, uh, chewy, and swallow. Fermented. Sorry, it's chew, chew, swallow. Yeah. Okay, Michelle, you good? Is um, there a last point that but, you want to But was I good? <laughs> uh, I have to. I mean, every time I have to be. Fair, okay, all right. Fair, but uh, yeah, you have to be fair. <laughs> I can see you, Siraj. Okay. Not being fair. Kind of anyway, uh, thank you, Michelle, yeah, for uh, that Nata di Coco um, explanation. Here's a guy who walks with two coconuts in office every single day. Kind of. What does oh. that even mean? I don't know. Even mean? Not uncut. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's just always carrying people's coconuts. In his oh. Hands. Yeah. That's how I progress far. Okay, what? Um, one should eat for the rest of their life. Yep. The best thing to eat would be Neapolitan ice cream. Okay, Neapolitan ice cream is a unique flavor that was originated from, we believe, Naples. In I'm the gonna slap you. The 19th century. <laughs> Uh, it comprises of three flavours, so imagine like an ice cream, one flavour that has three flavours, wow. Who ever thought of that? I mean, don't answer Ben and Jerry's. But... <laughs> and everybody we, else. Yeah. <laughs> it comes with strawberry, vanilla... Fake strawberry flavour. No, Always. it depends, it depends. Like, if you go to Dreyas, pretty good quality, you know? Like, and some more... So, if there's one thing to eat, there's essentially just three flavours inside. So, there's variety, you know? If people, mm. people get bored of strawberry, hey, I'll just go to the vanilla portion. So, what I was saying that, you know, ice cream exists in different states as well. What? You can, yes. When ice you, when you buy it from the freezer, solid it's solid. But when it melts, it becomes a liquid. And then what can you make with it? A melt shake without... Because there's melt inside the already. State. Yeah, there's also gaseous. Because sometimes ice cream made with liquid nitrogen, right? Yeah, but not yours. Yeah. <laughs> how, how will you know this is not a... Uh, what do you call that? My, I'm just saying it comes in different forms, man. You can, you can 
steal it. <laughs> but true. won't you get sick of it after a while, especially ice cream, something that's so sweet? Yeah, no, so it, the sweetness ranges from the different flavours. Actually, there's so many medical benefits when it comes to ice cream. Oh, don't tell us more. Yes, yeah, do tell us. us. It has calcium from the dairy. Wow, that strengthens bones. That defeats osteoporosis, which is discussed before in previous episodes. We also have vitamin A, which helps to... What does vitamin A do? Vitamin C, vitamin no, D, vitamin up. E, and vitamin K. I bet you didn't know there was no vitamin F. So like, well, if you talk about wanting to survive, well, vitamin K is all you need. Yeah, what does vitamin K do? Is that it not energizes? No, that's, vita that's D, vitamin D. D, D, D. That's D. You always need the D. And then um, it says like you know. Inspirational poster. Money can't buy happiness, but you know what can? You can buy ice cream. Psychologically, there's so many benefits. Emotionally, after you eat ice cream, you know when you break up. Yeah, what do you eat? But, but if you eat ice cream. after you break up, day? you eat ice cream, you break out. This is even worse than the Mandarin orange. Can you imagine eating like five days in a row, nothing else but, f but. <laughs> <laughs> But ice cream. That stays in the edit. Basically, he only has one point, and that is it will, it will make you happy. Yes. Like maybe for a day or two. Yeah, to sum it up, Neopoeta is the most versatile. Three flavors, three states, three square, nine. Thank yeah. you very much. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> uh, Chai Hong? Ah, of course. I will so. give you a witty thing, but I'll let you take it away. <laughs> and the food I would eat, the best food to eat for the rest of my life is. Ow! <laughs> Paper cut! Cha kui tiao. Cha guo tiao. Cha kui tiao. Come on, say it with me. No. First reason, I'll start with a single word. Lat. Who doesn't like lat? Of course, for Muslims. <laughs> for Muslims, put your hand down. For, so for, you can't even eat that already? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm talking about myself. Cha kui tiao is chock full of lat. You can ask them to give you more lat and they'll never bat an eyelid. So it's unhealthy? Uh? It's unhealthy, Very great, but it tastes great. And if you want to eat something for the rest of your life, you want it to taste good. You want so it to have a heart I don't care. Second thing, variety. All of you guys keep talking about variety. Oh, variety, oh, variety. And that's my impression of Michelle. Oh, variety. I, I don't talk about variety. <laughs> because mine is yeah, not. The only one that talk about oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's my impression of Kenneth. Oh, variety, variety. And I heard, oh, variety. What, what do I have? Oh my god, chao kui tiao. Oh, variety. What do you have in it? You have noodles. You wow. have kui tiao. It's you noodles have also. You have yeah, fish cake. Noodles. You have fish cake. You have lap chong, which is cured meat, which you can't eat. You have soy <laughs> sauce. You have so many ingredients that go into it. All of your food, you don't. You only have a single source of nutrients. I have every single thing covered, from carbs to protein to vegetables. Can you just minus five points for him because he missed out hum? Yes. Oh yes. my god, hum! That makes the char kway teow. Eh. Uh, oh my god, that was my next point. Thank you. <laughs> So and hum. bean sprouts. And bean sprouts and bean sprouts. There's, there's so many. See guys, you guys are just helping me. Chakwita really is the best. You have so much variety that goes into it. And next point, hum. See, all I have to do, I love all I have to do is just separate all my ingredients into different points, right? You guys all lose. With chakwita, I can decide, oh, let's not have noodles in it. Oh, let's not have kwitao in it. Oh, let's not have hum in it. And it will still be chakwita. It is like a it's an amalgamation of the Singaporean spirit. You talk about rojak being like, oh this. No. Hum on its own is not chocolate. You though. shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that works, that works. That's a That's solid great, argument. Great debating like that. Yeah. <laughs> solid argument. What secondary school are you from? Uh, Dumb and High. Dumb and High. Dumb and High. Yeah, Dumb and High. Yeah, Dumb Dumb and high. I'm from Dumb and High. Oh! oh! This is the pinnacle of this debate. Let's say. Yeah, you shut up. <laughs> the only thing we can agree on. <laughs> There are Muslim versions, like Muslim halal versions of chocolate tiao, <laughs> which are <laughs> available. No, 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 Thank you so much for all the arguments, Chakwe Tiao, Nepalton Ice Cream, Nata Di Coco and Mandarin Oranges. Right before I announce the winner, I want to get a, like, just a answers all around. What is the really, that one dish you would really want to eat? For Neapolitan ice cream. No, no, no. Right. If this Lata was the answer. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Now yeah. you guys have passion for this. Yes. <laughs> Nothing but Nata chicken Di rice. Chicken rice. Grabbing on the chicken rice. Anyway, so the winner for Dub Debates today is. Can I have a drop roll, please? This has to be one of the dumbest, dumbest episodes we've ever done. I feel so weird that Michelle can't even say. She's just saying it me! She's doing she's still doing it. Yeah. Okay, drumming it the same time. Why can't yeah, you can kind of I can look at it. And the winner is! It's my honor to say that the winner is Michelle! Oh, really? oh.
because oh, it's white and wow. pure. Actually, that's one of the points, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, your other foods over here, I felt it's something that you can easily get used to it, right? But Nata di Coco, it takes passion, and a quiet it takes taste. dedication, and it takes a whole lot of guts to get used to it. So, yeah, uh, Michelle, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so much. Right. It's an edible item that has the word hundreds and thousands in it, okay? Oh, century egg. No. <laughs> wow, that's quite witty. This is your price. What is it? Thousand? I'm not sure. Hundreds Sprinkle. and thousands colour balls. <laughs> you just stole this on the pantry. Shh. And from his pocket. <laughs> so, uh, Michelle, this is your price. Thank you very much. Wow, it's what I've always wanted. Something Thank that is so not much. white and pure. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, yeah. it's white in there. Colourful. <laughs> and most, your mood. Colourful. It's got everything. Thank you so much. The one only wonderful. Michelle Chong from Black Profile. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for you. joining Thank us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mm. We'll see you guys next week. Till then, don't be dumb. Bye bye. Bye. Everybody, I'm Michelle Chong. Oh, oh nowadays, like it's very old-fashioned to self-introduce like that to camera. Right? No, 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 no. In my time, it's always like, hello, everyone. <laughs> no, 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 we don't even do it ourselves. We leave yeah. our self introduction to them. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching Not Bad TV. I'm Siraj, and if you guys really enjoyed that, I mean, like, really enjoyed that, then subscribe. Not, not very hard, right? Just subscribe, you know? And it will give you more content like that, more edgy, more cool, more, you know, more great stuff. And if you don't subscribe, then. <laughs> And we have no jobs lah. There's no jobs lah. So yeah, click button lah, feed us. <laughs>